Hi guys! So today I have a model with me because we are going to do a makeup transformation inspired by this really cool statue-like black and white photo of a cover from a metal band of this man with this crackly face that's in black and white. It reminds me of those Virgin Mary statues, like the statues you see of the women, of angels with wings, maybe in cemeteries. One that's decrepit and worn down. So I'm going to take this picture as my inspiration for today's makeup. Something a little different, but really cool, and we will see how it turns out. So first of all, I am clipping back his hair so that it doesn't get all messy in the makeup. Cleaning his face down with a toner. And then I decided to get some liquid latex in certain parts that's going to be more raised. This is going to be a little bit harder to see later on in the makeup, so you could totally skip this step, especially if the person is allergic to liquid latex. And I am using a hair dryer to dry each layer of liquid latex. I'm just doing rough patches, and some of them have sharp edges, and some of them blend more into the skin. You could do multiple layers of this liquid latex to make it thicker or thinner in some parts. You want it to look like layers of cracked cement almost, like in a statue. You want to do a layer of light gray makeup. I got the Ben Nye Death Wheel has some really great colors for this. Reference pictures are key, but I did a layer of the light gray in certain spots around the face, focusing more on the chin area where there's more light gray colors. And then I got some white cream paint with the disposable makeup sponge and did patches of paint around his brow area. And dark gray with another makeup sponge that I cut in half in certain parts for shadow. Then I got some black cream paint with a paintbrush and started doing the outline edges of the face. Now I'm just going back with the white cream paint and doing a large patch on his forehead and around his eyebrows. I'm also getting some of this white cream paint and putting it on his beard so he looks like an old man. It's kind of cool because you can see like what a man's facial hair will look like when he's older. In certain spots on the cheeks, really heavy on the eyebrows. Honestly, it kind of looks like a bird pooped on him. You want to do splotches of the white in certain parts, especially on the beard and facial hair because it's going to give this effect of like paint dripping down his face and to find the beard more like a structure like they have in the Greek Roman statues that I love. Getting more black paint and doing the transition from the sides of his face to the white paint and with a thin paintbrush doing lines of the crack marks. Fill out where you did those liquid latex pieces with a stipple sponge as well to do more shadows in certain parts, especially on the nose. I'm kind of contouring the nose to make it a little bit thinner with the black paint and very heavy on the bottom as a shadow and doing different spots of black paint, especially around the mouth, which is going to define it more. The mouth is going to have a lot of shadow to bring more attention to the beard as well, and around the forehead. I was going to say blacking out the eyes for last, but I feel like it would give me more of a direction on this not looking like a total mess of just black and white paint, like a Dalmatian gone wrong, and really let me know where I'm supposed to do more shadow, define the eyes more, give me a direction where to go. So I'm filling in those eyes with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in black and connecting it to the black color on the temple to the hairline and powdering it down with translucent powder. I honestly just use baby powder. It's the cheapest and easiest and doing the other eye as well. I didn't do it on my model today, but you could also black in the rims of your eyes like that waterline. Blacking in more on the side of the face and on the corners of the mouth and under it to give it more shadow. I also painted the lips a little bit more gray. My hair and ponytail is kind of getting in the way because I'm pretty sure this is the very first time I've ever had a model for a YouTube video. Other than practicing for conventions like Comic-Con and stuff that you haven't seen on this channel. So I'm not pro quite yet on demonstrating makeup on someone else, but I hopefully I will be in the future. Wouldn't it be so great if one of you could be my model? Now with the black cream paint, I'm just getting more details. If you get a very flat, thin brush, you can get more details of thin lines on different crack marks, different types of designs on the face of holes and cracks, especially around the nose. It's going to have like this rippled effect of like chunks of the material of the statue like coming apart, like where the wrinkles on the nose would be. Because people who make actual statues have more artistic talent than I could ever possess, to be honest. Now, if you think all the cracks and different details on the face look good, I'm getting some black aqua paint with a giant paintbrush and painting the neck. We are not painting the ears. I know it's going to look weird, but I have a hood on my model today that we're going to put on later that's going to give a shadow effect around the whole entire makeup, like frame it like a picture frame. That's why I also love to use the black background. 
and we are gonna powder down that aqua paint with translucent powder. Make sure it's dry, almost completely dry before you powder it down, or else the black paint will pick up whatever white tones are in the powder. Even if it's translucent, it might pick up the white cast. Taking the clips out of his hair and putting the hood on, you know, taking selfies. Now I am completely done with this makeup look. Off camera, I did paint his hands white and did his nails black and did effects of black paint on top of the white to kind of mimic the face. You just wanna make sure this face doesn't show any or much skin tone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. It was really hard to paint on a model for a first time for YouTube, but I had fun doing it. Now it is time to take this off. This was a lot of baby wipes and a lot of makeup remover, my favorite makeup remover of all time. Two of them, Target's brand Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover and Micellar Water. Garnier makes one in the drugstores and the Bioderma. I tried to get as much makeup off him as I could. It's always a fun process taking off makeup on someone else. Although I always have them wipe their own eye because I don't want to put too much pressure and just accidentally hurt their eye. And I'm sorry if it's a little awkward that you didn't see my face in this video, but now we have a guy with guy liner who's probably going to take a shower after this. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!